Good afternoon, whole high school. This is Mr. Willard with your Friday afternoon announcements. Today is Friday, March 19th. It is the, the end of the first full week of our high flex instruction. Thank you to all students, both remote and face to face, as well as our students and staff uh, for all of your patience and uh, quick adjustments to uh, this uh, week. I appreciate you supporting us with all the rules and making sure that we have a safe environment for everyone. Next week, just a reminder, uh, sticking with a pretty similar high flex schedule as this week. The only difference is that Wednesday is a full day of remote instruction instead of a half day. So we'll see everyone back here on Monday morning at 8 a.m., both remote and uh, face to face. Class shirts for the 9th, 10th, and 11th grades. Ms. Switzer has been working with the Golden Rams Coffee Shop and organizing class shirts for the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Students in each grade voted for the design, and now you can purchase a shirt using the link to the online store. It will be open until April 1st. T-shirts will be distributed after spring break by Mr. Dallas Golden Rams Coffee Shop students. Hope you all join the fun. Get your class shirts. Go Rams! Keeping up with our tradition of Students of the Week, this week's senior is Brooke Brinken Brinkerhoff. She was nominated by Mrs. Meredith. Mrs. Meredith said, congratulations, Brooke. Your hard work has paid off. Our Junior Student of the Week is Zoe Larson. She was nominated by Mrs. Fisher. Mrs. Fisher said, Zoe's mom just got to ring the bell to signify the end of her chemotherapy today. Since her mom's diagnosis last fall, Zoe has been balancing her family's needs and her own schoolwork beautifully and with a lot of dedication and hard work. I'm proud of how well she's handled such a challenging situation with such grace. Congratulations, Zoe Larson, and also congratulations to your mother. Sophomore student of the week, Kylie Nim. She was nominated by Mrs. Murphy. Mrs. Murphy said Kylie continuously offers to lead the elementary lessons and does a heck of a job. She is fun and engaging. It has been such a pleasure to have her in class. Congratulations, Kylie. And our freshman student of the week, Storm Mullen. He was nominated by Mrs. Murphy. Mrs. Murphy said, I love having Storm in class. He keeps his camera on, participates in Spirit Week, and we have an amazing conversation about his Boy Scout ski trip in all Spanish. Congratulations, Storm. Our staff members of the week, well, how about that? She nominated some students, but she also got nominated herself. Senor Murphy, our Spanish teacher. Uh, we had a parent who said, my student's mental health was really has really been in a rough spot during remote learning. She has encouraged them, pointed out all the ways that, that they makes her classroom a better place. She reached out to me on an occasion where they, where they expressed some troubling thoughts and attitudes to her, and we were able to help them work through it. I really feel how much she cares for my student academically and emotionally. I'm very grateful that she is his teacher. Thank you, Senora Murphy. Our next staff member of the week is Mrs. Anna Ford, who works in the attendance office. She was nominated by Jade Davis Ford. Jade said, this staff member is pretty laid back and easy to talk to. She has only been here a little over a year and is already close with many students. She is a very kind and helpful person. Congratulations, Mrs. Ford. Our next staff member of the week, Mrs. Janine Baker, was nominated by an anonymous student. The student said she is always willing to help, whether it's school related or not. Congratulations, Mrs. Baker. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Enjoy the great weather. And again, thank you for a great first week of High Flex instruction. Go Holt Rams. We'll see you on Monday.